different. Once I got his credit card, I hit the ritziest shopping channel on TV. I got two Black Hills gold ankle bracelets, some stirrup pants, oh, and a set of those press-on nails with diamonds built right in. I know it's wrong, but I do not care. I feel like the prettiest girl in the whole development. <laughs> Fraud early warning. When we see suspicious spending, we'll alert you and stop it. City Identity Theft Solutions. That's using your card wisely. That's our show. Join us tomorrow night at 11. This was shocking. Bob Carey told me as he was leaving that so far the 9 11 Commission has found out it's my fault. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't even know that was being bandied about. <laughs> now, here it is, your moment of zen. Submit back to the kitchen. <laughs> Nothing complicated. Now, the beers in your cups represents the beer. Here we go. Okay. Nice. Great, mother... Ah. Hello, folks. Welcome to Tough Crowd. See, they say we don't miss spend. Look at this. We got walnuts. Ah. I worked at Foxwoods Casino this weekend with Rich Boss and Greg Giraldo. They both tried to ruin my dream. Even Giraldo, who's the guy that you kind of, out of our whole dented and damaged posse, you'd think he wouldn't self-sabotage every step of the way. Even he's starting to unravel. Greg, I know you're on the road watching. Half hour late, the fury on his face because they, they wouldn't pay him. He was trying... <laughs> He was trying to be cry. You could tell he wanted to cry. Remember the old days, Greg? You wouldn't be late. There was no traffic because you had the motorcycle weaving in and out of traffic, waving at girls. But they were this time stuck on I-95 in the Suburban picking Cheerios out of the grill. <laughs> Wondering if he had the balls to drive over the divider. And Voss, here's the thing about Voss that kills me. First of all, I'm not kidding. It's like Fox, it's like a beautiful room, 1,700 seats sold out, but it doesn't matter. But um, I don't do it for ego. But anyway, standing room only, doesn't matter. Voss, we walk in, first thing he says to me, and you're gonna think I'm lying, he goes, you, you will be offended if I sell CDs afterwards. No, not at all. It's only our big chance at the casino money. Let's go out and, you know, turn it into a Turkish bazaar halfway through. <laughs> Hey, I'll help you, you know what I mean? Give you some stickers. I'll hand out flyers for you, you creep. Then we're on stage with the woman, Lisa, that manages the place, and he has to go like, this is how low self-esteem. It's a beautiful theater. First he goes to me, this is show business. And I actually was sincerely along with him. I was so excited. I was like, you're right. You know, instead of saying, shut your mouth, could be it. Then he goes to the lady, does B.B. King still do comedy too? Covering his bets. Because he wants to MC an open mic. Then we're walking through the casino, people are going, hey, Colin Quinn. Hey, so I got a voice, this must be killing you, boys. Everyone's recognizing me. He goes, actually, it reminds me of when I was on Last Comic Standing, um, you know, because they wouldn't recognize the other people, they always recognize me, so this is very humbling. First of all, <laughs> your whole career is humbling. But second of all, <laughs> let me get this straight. They recognize you then, but when I'm there, they can only, people can only recognize one person at a time. <laughs> they can't recognize two people that they were, so. I mean, I walked around with Seinfeld, Chris Rock, Sandler. They recognize me, too. I'm not saying they don't make me hold the camera and take pictures of them with Seinfeld, Rock, and Sandler. But they recognize me. STS. <laughs> Let me tell Wait, you about before you start, can I just say one important thing that just yeah. happened on the news? They just uncovered the most devastating weapons of mass destruction known to humanity. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Billy Joel's lights Okay, boss, go ahead. We're sitting in a restaurant in a casino, and Colin goes, I'll take care of the tip. And he pulls out a bill, and he shows me just part of a $100 bill, like he's some big high roller in a casino. They see $500, $1,000 at a time. Your $100 didn't make a difference. When did you, realize, said, when did you realize that story was going nowhere? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. 
What did I say? Saying that the upcoming uh -huh. presidential election may be too good to pass up for Al-Qaeda. The Bush administration is concerned there'll be a terrorist attack in the U.S. sometime before November. Here's what Bush had to say about that. Our intelligence is good. It's just never perfect is the problem. <laughs> Uh, we, we, we are disrupting some sales here in America. We're chasing people down. Uh, but it is a, we got a big country. Okay. Now, personally, I would say, yeah. I mean, he's right. How are you supposed to protect the whole country? You can't. I know. It's crazy to even think that. I think so. <laughs> but I do. I love the fact that everybody in America is like, we are supposed to be protected. No, we're not. We're just like the rest of the world. You get hit sometimes. It is That's how it You're goes. right. You're right. But could he at least act confident? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that kind of honesty from the president. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, could you <laughs> You know, you know, you know, you know when, I, when I saw that press conference, my pity for him interrupted my hatred. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that he's like he's like in every alcoholic dad that warns you ahead of time how he's going to screw up to cover himself. Oh, like, no. I know I said we're going to go to Bush Garden Saturday, but you know, Daddy sometimes gets in a fight with the foreman Thursday, so I might have to go in and make up the hours. Like that's what Bush is doing. Feel, but don't you, like but don't you think it is kind of unrealistic? Like I hate when people say, "Hey, this was supposed to protect." How are you going to protect an entire country, especially with the fact that until uh, people are crying about the Patriot Act, that was like a small idea to possibly stop that. Now people don't well, want to yeah, do that. Why, why would you say it's like, you know, why would he say that it's like election day is too good a day to yeah. pass up? So if you don't do it, I might. You know what I mean? I mean, what's really but it's saying? Because based on <laughs> Spain. Yeah, so based on Spain. Well, but it would make it, you know what would be really suspect if on election day he said there's a very specific biological attack that's only focused targeting Democrats and possible carry voters? Yeah, maybe like, uh, like an outbreak of sickle cell or something. Also, like no one shows up for an election. They should like have it. They they would do it on like the, during the American Idol final. Something like people would actually be there. For right, it. right, right. No one sure. voted. Yeah, they you know, first of all, he, I'm not gonna follow that. You know. He's got a pen. The yeah. real fear, though, is that if there is an attack, that like how it's gonna affect the election. Would people in this country go like if there was about to be an attack? Would they say, you know, we want Bush out of here because he didn't protect us? Or are they gonna say, let's make him emperor forever? You know, right. I mean, yeah. Who knows? But Spain, well, you know, it's from Spain. They got rid of the guy because they were like, oh, no. That would never happen. Well, who cared? They had 30 troops over there. They were completely ineffective. I don't know. Anyway. I'm just saying what the reaction of the people was no, in the right. vote. I'm not yelling at you. I'm just yelling kind of as we're uh, talking. I don't blame you. <laughs> what do you think would happen if that would happen? Do you think that, that, that Bush would step down and they'd want him to step down? No, I think Bush would probably be more popular if that happened. Yep. That's what I think here. I right. think that the whole idea right now that people are pretending that the U.N. scandal is not like the biggest story right now, and that Bush was actually right about one thing, which is there was a not our allies, France, Russia, or the UN. Obviously, they had their own agenda. They were corrupted, but nobody's talking about that because even when Bush has a right point, it's kind of uncool to say it in the news or just in well, general. That's because he uses the words out of order and he sounds like he's having a seizure, so it's hard <laughs> to agree with him. <laughs> You're doing him or me. Yeah, but. But, <laughs> but you have to admit, though. People say, oh, I don't see the liberal media. The fact that this UN story is nowhere, and the fact that yesterday when I was reading the New York Times, an article on the guy, uh, Jose Padilla from the Taliban, and they said that he, he did have some youthful stumbling, and then they described how him and his friend stabbed a Mexican guy with a knife and killed him for nine pesos. That's stumbling. So let's face the facts. It's a little disgusting. I've had it. I don't mind the fact that Fox News and the Post are skewered to the right, but the New York Times and CNN are just as skewered to the yeah, left. Yeah, but they also didn't cover the fact that, you know, Halliburton used French subsidiaries to do business with Iraq when it was under sanctions either. So well, I mean, they're, yeah, with the Kuwaiti companies. Okay. Okay, but I'm just saying that they didn't cover that because that's in part five of that story. Uh -huh. The fact is, the ally, yeah, but our government was not saying, we, we're not saying we're not going to deal, Hallib nobody's saying, hey, the government doesn't deal with Halliburton. Right. Hey, the government doesn't deal with the UN, France, or Russia. You have to admit, it's a little more relevant to what I'm talking about, which is the invasion in Iraq, that we're so horrible because we didn't keep the allies on our side, but meanwhile they were up to it, and, you know. That was a hell of a response. Oh, I, mean, like, <laughs> I mean that. When he said Halliburton, I'm like, oh, he's got you. Boy, you fired back quick. That was good. I had no idea that that was Thanks, the way to answer that. I might have brought out the word Bechtel to get really deep, oh. but I didn't want to break well, it out. <laughs> that's why you're the boss. Who's, who's Halliburton? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> This program is brought to you by Corona Extra, miles away from the ordinary.
When it starts showing up in video games, don't let the needle pushing T5 turbo performance mess with your mind. It's still built like a Volvo. Introducing the all new Volvo S40. This is Bob. Bob is doing well. Very well indeed. That's because not long ago, Bob realized that he needed something better in his life. And what did he get? Why, a big boost of confidence, a little more self-esteem, and a very happy Mrs. at home. Free samples of Enzyte now available while supplies last. Just call or visit for Enzyte.com. Enzyte, the once-a-day tablet for natural male enhancement. This is Bob. Bob is playing well. That's because not long ago, Bob decided to go big time. New clothes, new clubs, and a call to Enzite, the effective, reliable way to natural male enhancement. And in just a few short weeks, Bob has a big new swing of confidence, a little well-earned respect, and a very happy partner back at the clubhouse. Free samples of Enzite now available while supplies last. Just call or visit for Enzite.com. Enzite, the once-a-day tablet for natural male enhancement. If you think Cartman's fat on TV, wait till you see him in real life. It's Comedy Central's first ever South Park collectible figures. Cartman with Kitty, Kyle with Ike, Stan with Sparky, and Butters with Underpants Snow. In stores now or go to ComedyCentral.com to order yours today. Always and forever. There are songs that last a lifetime. One, you like a dream come true, two. Presenting the Wedding Songs Collection. Here and now. 24 songs that come from the heart. 24 songs that say I love you. Get the Wedding Songs Collection on two CDs or two cassettes for just $19.99. But wait, order with your credit card and Time Life will cut the price in half. Then review other romantic collections. Satisfaction guaranteed. So use your credit card and get two albums for just $9.99. I believe in miracles. Call 1-800-419-5533 to order body and soul for just $9.99 plus shipping and handling. That's 1-800-419-5533. Call now. The $12 billion a year porn industry shut down last week after a performer tested positive for HIV mm. led to a quarantine of 51 performers. <laughs> I suggest that condoms should become an industry standard. So what do you guys think about this one, huh? Well, the, well, well, no, I the condom will destroy the money shot, and the money shot is the backbone of the porn industry. <laughs> it can't, it can't do it. There's no way. That's a good point. They can't. That's a good point. My yeah, like watching, a, watching porno with condoms is like watching, you know, boxing with headgear, you know? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Although, you know, disappointing. They're maybe, maybe, go ahead, I'm sorry. Well, there's, that's what they're saying, this is the only thing that's positive about this. said before on this show. What has it? I'm sorry, go that's ahead. That's right, the, gov the government's going to try to use this <laughs> to, uh, to get in and say that porn is like a, a public safety issue, uh, and then try to regulate it, uh, which is, 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 first of all, I mean, they, they've been very responsible, pornography, about uh, testing people and stuff like that, and porn does not encourage the spread of AIDS, it actually stops it, because do you have any idea how many times I've wanted to go out and get laid and instead I just throw in a movie and repaint my ceiling? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good point. The point you make is good because that's in this country. This guy went to Brazil yeah. to shoot a cheaper movie right. and this is another reason why outsourcing is bad for America. Exactly. That's right. 58. Yeah, you want to... He slept with 51 girls, though, in two months. Who did? 51 girls? 51 people in two months. That's For those numbers, you got to take a chance. You know what I'm you saying? Know, those are good where, numbers. This is where the Pixar people need to step up and start creating <laughs> digital actors because, you know, Gollum and Nemo can't get AIDS. You know, just start creating digital porn actors and doing that. I don't know what that is. Well, condoms, yeah. you, can't, you can't regulate condoms. I know Vivid yeah. Video, like, I think all the performers wear condoms. And I, I, I've heard that in gay videos, like, just for the anal stuff. <laughs> um, not for the oral stuff, though, because that would spoil it. Yeah. Um, but for the, uh, a lot of the gay videos, they all use condoms. Who the hell wants to, you know, that's what you're watching porn for, is to see guys take chances, like astronauts. I mean, yeah. if I want to see someone... <laughs> yeah. If I, yeah. 
If I, I want to no, see somebody nobody, fumble around with a condom, I can watch myself have sex. No, nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna rent hot, uh, shaved, and safe part four. That's, yeah. that's not fun. Uh, that's what I want to ask you. Do you do you still watch porn when you live porn? <laughs> I, yeah, I do. I, okay. I just watch. You did a tweet with one of the great porn stars of all time. Remember? What's that? You did. So you he did doubled that? with Ron Jeremy. Uh, Ron Jeremy. I came with Ron Jeremy. Yes. You're a legend. Now yeah, listen. but once you've been to the craft service in porn, is it is it fun to watch it at that point? I mean, it's, you're right. Yeah, and what much. is the craft service like? Is it? It's just a it's it's just a chick on a table with her legs open. All right, that's okay. <laughs> oh, whoa! That was, that was offensive. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, Christian nightclubs are gaining popularity across the country. Uh, Advertising what is uh, perks like alcohol, drug, and smoke-free environments. Wait Jesus raves. Christian nightclub? Yeah, yeah Christian nightclub. Well, alcohol? No, no alcohol, no, 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 no cigarettes. No, no slow dancing, right? No, it's all well, Christian no music, slow. right? No, well, it's Christian rock, yeah. What is the club called? Hell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I actually, I, I just, I actually, uh, I think I would enjoy going to a Christian nightclub. I mean, yeah. it couldn't be any harder to slip a roofie into apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you gotta be careful, man, because when you really get your faith on and get those Jesus goggles going, yeah. you take some girl who looks like Mary Magdalene, then you wake up with John the Baptist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Don't deconstruct a very funny joke. Yeah. All right. And now I, now when, listen when, to me. When Jews walk in, do the uh, dance floor part. <laughs> do the dance floor part. <laughs> Do the, do the dance floor part. Well, listen. Is it when Jews walk in? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's be honest. Here's what, yeah. yeah. honest. Here's what I hate about this country and society we live in. Right. If I had brought this up oh. as Islam, an Islamic nightclub, and anybody said any of this, people would be horrified. No, no, that's really racist. Yes. Shut your mouth and let finish. It. I'm sorry. My point. You're right. Good point. They, I didn't no, they wouldn't. I apologize. Here I go through a long rant, and all he has to go, no, they wouldn't. And that, like... <laughs> destroys the whole thing. You happy? Now we can sit here. I think it'll be a big advantage to dealing with uh, Christian girls like that. I mean, because they're a little easier to manipulate. You know, yeah. you go like, I've talked to God, and he said he wants you to put it in yeah. your mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Folks, wait, wait, wait. Let me explain my thing. I wouldn't mind, but that son of a bitch cut off my, like, big point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he cut off my big boy that was trying to make about how this country, the political correctness, nobody yeah, said right. it. Nobody did about Islamic like, stuff. Uh, yeah, he just wanted to get his stupid one-liner in. That's why he did it, to get that other dumb joke in. What's your problem? <laughs> oh. Oh. What? What's... That's what it was about. Right, no, go, okay. What was the point again? That yeah. he was trying to get his joke in. Yeah. But what's the no, point you know, about I, Islam? I, my yeah. point is, I got up here and said, there's Islamic clubs, and yeah. you guys started making those same hardcore jokes about right. Islam. Everybody, first of all, most people wouldn't do it. And second of all, everybody would be like, that is really racist. Not That's on this show. Would, they would yeah. allow you to do it on this show. Well, yeah, I'm not saying the crowd wouldn't. I'm saying the mentality of the country is like, you can't say anything. Islam's sacred since 9-11. Oh, so you're talking about that. It's not. It, 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 it's bound to happen. What's bound to happen? You know, the next terrorist But why attack. is it why sacred? But I'm saying, why is it a sacred thing? It's not. Let's Christianity's do, not. Let's do the whole segment, with, it, let's do the whole segment with Islam. Correct <laughs> society. That's all I'm trying to That's say. That's good, man. You'll be right back. You're right. The boss is right. If you're missing the all-new season of South Park, this message is for you. What the hell is your problem? South Park, Season 8, the highest numbered season yet. New episode, Wednesday at 10, exclusively on Comedy Central. It's Comedy Central's unholy marriage of stand-up stars, animation, and baby. What were you thinking right before you hit the ground, Evil? I remember thinking, hey, did I turn off the iron? Shorty's watching Shorty's. Series premiere Wednesday after South Park. Can I help you? Oh, thank you, young man. It's great to see young people with manners today. Oh, thank you, ma'am. So, uh, what are you doing Saturday night? Impaired judgment, another unfortunate side effect of hunger. Grab a Snickers, packed with peanuts, caramel, and chocolate. I didn't get your number yet. Hungry? Grab a Snickers. Pro style shirts and pants that do it all. Love!
Security Technologies from GE. Advanced security for home, business, and government worldwide. GE. Imagination at work. race-inspired, the six-speed, 200-horsepower Acura RSX Type S. In me, the place I want to go. Greyhound Super Friendly Fares. Now you can get there for a lot less than you think. Go Greyhound and leave the driving to us. Everybody says they have places to be, and those places can say a lot about a person. So tonight, we'll look at a few New Yorkers out on the street and answer the question, where are you going? Let's see the first person. Where's this person going? Where am I going? I know, I know where he's going. He's going to a callback for an Olive Garden commercial. <laughs> and maybe, um, maybe he's going to a Jiffy Lube to have his hair drained. I know. <laughs> You know, I, know, I know he's not going to do this, but I so want him to just go, where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Like eight times in a row. That's what I want him to do. I was going to do all three Save of those. Save it for the next one. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's find out where he's going. I'm going to Lewis, New Jersey. I'm going to do some homework. I'm going to be a chef. I'm studying. Got to do some homework. It's going to taste great. Come over. I was close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Let's look at the next person. Where's this person going? He's going to... Where am I going? I know where he's, he's going. going. He's going. Oh, my God. The Let new... Uh... Well, no, he's going to go audition for the Captain Kangaroo story. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You're, you're completely incorrect. Issue 92 of JLA is coming out in an hour, and I need to be there ahead of time because I'm going to polybag it and put it with my collection. <laughs> I, I think he's going to teach his one o'clock guitar lesson. <laughs> no, he's going... Nothing? That was nothing. He's going, I know where he's going. I've seen this. Right. Uh, he's going to the... Uh, if Dennis Wolfberg had lived and put on 300 pounds look-alike competition. <laughs> I'll let you I've seen this. Okay, let's terrible. see where he's going. That's good. That's good. I like that, yeah. I'm going to get a tattoo, and it's an eight ball on my ass. <laughs> Ooh. Son of a bitch, he's lying. He lied. He's lying, yeah. he's lying yeah. but he's he also lied. challenging yes. me. Yeah. Let's see the next one. Where you, where'd you go? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I know. Okay. Where I'm going? Back to Sorry. jail. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah. He's either... <laughs> He's either going to uh, Rosie O'Donnell's house or Melissa Esridge's house. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> who's, who's, oh, no, it's who's Melissa Esridge? <laughs> <laughs> I said Edward. No, it's that's that's Mariah on her way to VH1 Diva. She just hadn't got all her stuff on yet. Where is he? He's going. Jim, would you like to say anything about this person? He's going to find her brother, Jim Norton. I feel like he's going to tell us where he was going. Shut up, Mark. What? See what happens. I wanted Jim. I wanted Jim to notice the correlation, but you but I, didn't it. I gave everybody one, then I went to Jim, but everybody uh, had to get greedy and keep riffing. That's, That's why right. I wish they you got greedy. Thank I you, anyway, Carl. happy. Go ahead. I don't even want to finish it. <laughs> I'm going to shop and buy me a pretty dress. What's he doing? I'm going to pretty dress. Oh, it's kind of beautiful. Wow. wow. Okay. We're going to have to be very pretty. Let's see the next one. That's sad. Where is he going? Now. Where am I going? Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, gonna, go ahead. He's going to pick up a table that you threw down in the studio. <laughs> well, we know where he's not going. <laughs> I kind of got stumped on this. Roll the answer. <laughs> Roll the answer. Where's Tim Reed going? He's going to get some. He's got all about the sound. There you go. Oh, oh, this is what a real looks like. Right here. Oh. All right, now we're going, but we'll be right back. <laughs> No shit.
shame. Doug versus Tanya. I'm gonna fight Tanya Harding right here tonight. Three rounds on the Man Show. Watch Doug box Tanya Harding on a brand new hour of the Man Show, premiering Sunday at 10 on Comedy Central. Check one. Check All check light one. beers are low in carbs, so choose on taste. Fresh, smooth, real. Bud Light. It's all here. Hey, I can't you get cooked. Yeah. That's so nice of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dockers Pro Style. Shirts and pants that do it all. You've seen it on TV. One spray and doggy doo disappears. Too good to be true? Now, meet the man who invented it. That's right! And the friend who resented it. What are the odds something like that would work? Ben Stiller, Jack Black, Envy, rated PG-13, starts this Friday. Just how big should an SUV be? The Hyundai Santa Fe with America's best warranty. It's big on what matters and small where it counts. Donkey! You know what's coming up, don't you? Your birthday? Wait, my birthday! Better! Free scoop night! Wednesday's free scoop night at Baskin Robbins. Stop by for a scoop like Shrek Swirl, inspired by Shrek 2. Now at Baskin Robbins. Always and forever. There are songs that last a lifetime. One, you like a dream come true. Two. Presenting the Wedding Songs Collection. Here and now. 24 songs that come from the heart. 24 songs that say I love you. Get the Wedding Songs Collection on two CDs or two cassettes for just $19.99. But wait, order with your credit card and Time Life will cut the price in half. Then review other romantic collections. Satisfaction guaranteed. So use your credit card and get two albums for just $9.99. I believe in miracles. Call 1-800-419-5533 to order body and soul for just $9.99 plus shipping and handling. That's 1-800-419-5533. Call now. You know, folks, Christians have built countries, empires, and Western civilization. Now they founded No Smoke and Drink and Nightclubs. What's another group that needs their own nightclub and describe the scene? Patton. Christians? What about the shut-ins, man? What about the paranoid, misanthropic shut-ins that post on message boards like the one for this show? Like, Collins worn a brown shirt every fifth alternate Tuesday. I think he's a crypto-Nazi. Listen, you guys do such hard work, and the one time you go out, you need a place, all right? You want to go somewhere where everybody knows your name because the government implanted a chip in your balls while you slept, and now we can watch you through the TV, Jim. Oh. Smith. <laughs> Morgan. All right, this is all from, from my heart. One of the biggest, largest, and fastest growing groups in this country is the obese. They should have their own clubs. I know that you're thinking, well, they already have them, you know, malls, fast food outlets, Krispy Kreme donuts, the entire Midwest. But I'm... <laughs> But I'm talking, I'm talking about more exclusive dens of fatness, where the gargantuan can gather and rejoice in their corpulence. I'm talking about lard lairs, where they can jiggle and dance and eat ice cream, and, and grope and knead each other's flesh flaps without the pitying glances of the pompous fit and less fat. For they have no idea what it's like to commit and let it all go. I wish I could. All right, Rich! <laughs> Why don't I just follow Pryor? Uh, I think the Amish should have their own nightclubs. Uh, they wouldn't have to pay for a light system. Uh, if the club got too crowded, they could throw up an addition real quick. Uh, 
<laughs> there would be an acoustic house band called the Abrahams. One night of the week could be BYOC, bring your own cider. Uh, I know the valet would be a little slow. The place might have a bad odor to it, and you would need good security to keep the Hasidics out. But uh, how much fun would everyone have on topless night where ladies don't wear their bonnets? <laughs> oh. Jim, go ahead. Well, in um, kind of taking with Colin's challenge before about what we discussed, I'd like to see a hot new Islamic nightclub. That's why he cut me off. Go That's ahead. right. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a really happening place filled with Muslims, except for the two fenced-in corners, which would be controlled by the Jews. Uh, security would be uh, extra tight, and anybody caught not carrying a weapon is going to be asked to leave. So come down and enjoy the blood-curdling music of the new Islamic hit. Hey, we can't seem to get along with anybody else in any other nightclub. Maybe we're the problem. And uh, last but not least... Don't forget that Thursday is ladies' night. All ladies found to have a clitoris will be admitted for half price, then taken out of the dance floor and stoned to death. <laughs> That's the show! Good night! Don't moan his life! Holy moly, sir. Uh, Hi. Right, uh, it's pretty crazy out there. Uh, you uh, charged the camera. Uh, grabbed Patton Oswalt and threw a table down. What, what are, you, are you all right? Yes. <laughs> um, could you? We've been racking our heads here in the press room. Could you please explain the Rich Voss appeal? What What is the appeal? Rich? I've explained it many times. He's a very funny guy, despite all. The, and like he says, because he has the balls to throw him out there.